My name is Theresa Thomas, I'm a consultant neurologist here at the Royal Victoria Infirmary in Newcastle and a neuroscientist working at Newcastle University. Um, so if you think about a neurologist in training, um, the SD1 salary is currently just under £38,000 a year. Um, you're, there's a jump then when you become a, a consultant neurologist with a starting salary of about £76,000, £77,000 a year with uh, increments that go up every year or nearly every year up to a level of about £105,000. The addition to your salary as a consultant or as a junior doctor would depend on the amount of out-of-hours out of work that you do, so there's an increment for that too. As a consultant, you get the opportunity to supplement your wage with, uh, with excellence awards, uh, which might be delivered either locally because you'd be involved with um, improving services, delivering great audit and, and really continuing to deliver the best possible clinical care. Or if you're doing something really important at a national level, leading committees, uh, producing guidance, you know, you've got the potential to increase your salary by a fair bit. You know, so uh, silver, gold, platinum awards are you know measured in the tens of thousands of pounds per annum. Private practice is probably a, another attractive way that people would uh, increase their um, their salary. Not every consultant does it. I don't know what the figures would be. Maybe one in four, one in five might do. Um, and particularly if you're um, part of a, a, a group, or a, a chambers of doctors, uh, you've got the ability to do a, a one or more private practices a week to augment your wage. Um, and then for trivial pocket money, you might have the opportunity to do uh, some paid writing, paid speaking, or, um, or consult for firms such as drug companies if you'd like to augment your wage. I don't know how much the, uh, the final wage would be, but I imagine if you had a consultant neurologist who was doing a, a, a big portion of private practice, and particularly medical legal work, uh, they'd be earning, um, well, clearly six figures, and the first figure may not be a one. So I don't quite know how far that, that would be.